Okay, so I wanted to show you some of the books that we've been uh, looking at uh, for survival and thrifty living, um, however you want to refer to it. Um, a lot of these books, uh, some of them uh, I saw in either Backwoods Home Magazine or Mother Earth News. Those are really great resources for articles and also for uh, other books. And, uh, you know, Mother Earth News has been around for a long, long time. And it's all about living the simple life. And so uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, I have a subscription to that. And uh, there's a lot of good articles in it. Um, Backwoods Home, I recently uh, subscribed to it as well. A lot of good information in it. And again, both of these magazines are great resources to um, to find out what other people are reading. So some of the books I've uh, purchased here came out of recommendations or ads from, from those two magazines. Um, so here we go. Uh, Making the Best of uh, Basics, Family Preparedness Handbook. Very good resource. I've read through a little bit of it, and it's, uh, it's a very good resource. Um, Encyclopedia of Country Living. Uh, this one's the 10th edition. Another really great resource, and I believe, um, let's see, this is the information on uh, making the best of basics, and Encyclopedia of Country Living, uh, Sasquatch Books, um, again, a lot of these, I saw these uh, books in either Mother Earth News or Backwoods Home Magazine and thought that they they looked good and both of these are proving to be very good resources. Um, good to read through, good reference material. Um, also this Country Wisdom and Know How, uh, another great resource. I've only scratched the surface on that but it's a very good book. Um, Cody Lundin's uh, When All Hell Breaks Loose very good for uh, survival skills. Ragnar's Urban Survival by Ragnar Benson. Uh, he goes into some good information uh, gleaned from some uh, recent history, uh, Bosnia, uh, different areas where people have had to survive in an urban setting. And he's got a lot of good information in there. Uh, it's a good resource, a lot of, gets you thinking about a lot of stuff. Uh, this is Michael Maloney's Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver. Uh, we'll see how that all pans out, but he really makes a case for buying silver in this book. And also, um, one other value to this book is his treatment of the financial system in America. A really good, um, pretty thorough uh, treatment of our financial system and, and how, we are, uh, how we've gotten to where we're at. Uh, in America. So whether you buy gold or silver, um, you know, the book has got some really good information in it uh, regardless of that. But he makes a strong case for gold and silver purchasing for your uh, investment slash uh, store of value. Uh, Emergency by Neil Strauss. It's a, it, it's kind of, um, it's his story of how he delved into the survival slash preparedness um, world. Uh, he starts off kind of skeptical and by the end of the story, uh, if he's to be believed, um, he's all uh, gung-ho about uh, survival and preparedness. And that came through a lot of the research that he did. Um, really interesting book. Um, maybe not so much as a reference material, but it really it's it's a good book to get your mind thinking the down the path with uh, your preparedness so uh, good book I, I thought it was pretty good uh, good story um, how to survive the end of the world as we know it by James Wesley Rawls uh, he wrote the Patriots um, or was it Patriots uh, that was another good book a novel I read that that was pretty good. This is more of a, uh, gets into more of the details about surviving. Uh, good resource. 
should recognize this, the FM-21-76 Army Survival Manual. You could usually pick that up. Either online, you could probably download it. And In fact, if you go to survivetoday.com, you can download a, a PDF copy of that for free. Uh, Boy Scout Handbook. Um, a lot of good information. Uh, basic first aid and I kind of 